we wake up, we clean up, and we stand up. And once we can stand up like a man on our own feet, then the world will look at us with recognition and respect. Instead of us just being like, slavery's bad, slavery's bad, bad whitey, bad whitey. I mean, all right, let's stop that. It was the fact that you threw 80% of your votes behind the Democrats that put the Democrats in the White House. What do you get out of it? You put them first and they put you last. Because you're a chump. For us to be on our own two feet, us meaning youth or us meaning black people, whatever you want to take it for. For us to be on our own two feet, we do need help. Because we have been here, we have been a good friend. You got a friend that you don't never look out for. Anytime you throw your weight behind a political party and that party can't keep the promise that it made to you during election time and you are dumb enough to walk around continuing to identify yourself with that party, you are not only a chump but you're a traitor to your race. My career would be over. I'd get kicked out of the black community because blacks are, we're supposed to have a monolithic thought. We can only like, we can only be Democrats and all. I was having love. I mean, like undeniable love. I was scared, but so was somebody else because all of a sudden I had all kinds of legal problems. We all have a right to bear arms. Why would I come to New York and be unlawfully owning two guns? Put those people in jail for life, no, pro no probation, no parole. And in certain circumstances, they kill someone, put them to death. But he's encouraging the police, rank and file policemen, to take whatever method or measures necessary to hold the Negroes in check. As my video was debuting on MTV, I was behind bars getting beat up by the police department. And they didn't see me, they did not see me on TV with my eye busted, my head busted. There's pictures of those. In Oakland, you don't, you yes, in Oakland. You don't see them pictures. Which shows that they can make the American public love whom they will and hate whom they will. Merry Christmas to the press. I appreciate the present you've given me. Because you made me look like the bad guy in my own community. Can you move this down to the left, please? Thank you very And it took me a year and a half to have the confidence to stand up, put on the hat, no matter what the consequences were. It represented overcoming fear. Liberals can't bully me, news can't bully me, the hip hop community, they can't bully me. Because at that point, if I'm afraid to be me, I'm no longer yay. They use the press to make it look like he's the criminal and they're the victim. This is how they do it. And if you study how they do it here, then you'll know how they do it over here. It's the same game going all the time. He is a tried and true, uh, like, died in the wool racist. Mike Tyson was greeted at his door at one o'clock in the morning by a woman. The woman was dancing at eight o'clock and this guy's in jail for six years. I don't understand it. I think it's wrong. We gotta start making changes. Learn to see me as a brother instead of two distant strangers. So I don't wanna hear what he has to say about uh, what he's done for black people. He's done very little for us. Just hours before Joe Biden is said to be sworn in, Trump pardoned rappers Lil Wayne and Kodak Black. He not only reduced his sentence, he pardoned him. All that good shit. That's hard. That's hard. <laughs> this morning, President Trump lashing out at the Swedish government, demanding they give American rapper ASAP Rocky his freedom, tweeting, Sweden has let our African-American community down in the United States. And when I say African-American, I think I can really say from everybody in this country, because we're all one. Get off the welfare. Be a man. Earn what you need for your own family. Then your family respects you. Yes, we hate laziness. We hate drunkenness. Why? Because the white man knows you're more dangerous sober than you are drunk. It's time for us as a people to start making some changes. Let's change the way we eat. Let's change the way we live. And let's change the way we treat each other. You see, the old way wasn't working, so it's on us to do what we got to do to survive. Mr. Trump, we got your back. Trump, 2024. Trump, 2024. 2024, Trump, all the way. Yes, we are here to support our president, Donald John Trump. We need that Donald Trump. Everyone is for Trump at this point. I mean, everyone. Authoritarian is when the mainstream media is only one side reporting against Trump. Everything bad. 90% of bad coverage on Donald Trump. The American press creates almost any kind of image they want of anyone. To be very careful about letting others create images for you. Always examine for yourself.